Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to answer the BMAT 2007, section 2, question 11. And which statement about thermal, i.e. heat energy, are true? So we'll look at each statement in turn. Statement 1. A substance can lose heat energy without its temperature falling. So this can happen if a substance is changing state. So an example would be water freezing into ice. And you can see this on a temperature energy diagram of water freezing into ice, where we have this flat bit where the temperature is constant whilst heat energy is being lost, and this is when the water is freezing. So in this freezing process, intermolecular bonds are being formed between the water molecules, and this gives out energy. So energy is being lost from the substance and goes to the surroundings, and this keeps the temperature from falling. So it stays at zero degrees until all the water is frozen and you just have ice, so any heat energy being lost will cause the temperature to decrease. So statement one is true. Statement two, heat energy can pass through a vacuum. Well, yes, this has to be true, as otherwise we won't get any heat from the sun and life wouldn't exist. So statement two is true. Statement three, steam at 100 degrees Celsius has more heat energy than the same mass of boiling water at the same temperature. So in boiling water, our intermolecular bonds between the water are still unbroken, whereas in steam, it took heat energy in so it can break the intermolecular bonds. So this implies that steam has more heat energy than boiling water. So statement three is also true. Finally, statement four, when a container of water is cooled near the top, a convention current is set up in the water. So let's look at a diagram of water in a container. So when we cool the water at the top, it becomes more dense, so it sinks, and therefore it pushes the less dense, warmer water to the top. And then this cools down, and it becomes more dense and sinks, and so on. So we have a convection current. So statement four is also true. So all of our statements are true, so our correct answer here is E.